Carolyn Demartini. And today Yacht World is on Biscayne Bay in Miami, Florida to demonstrate that the performance boat sector is alive and doing very well, obviously. We're going to invite you to come on board and meet John Kosker, who designed and built this elegant Mystic 5200. Come join us. As we work our way from the spacious swim platform that has easy access for the water, if you want to jump in for a swim or for water sports, you have this huge sun pad that this hatch opens up for storage and it also flips up from the back side for your mechanicals like your Seakeeper 6 and your generator. This whole back area can be shaded with a, with carbon poles that go in the back and attach to the T-top, or you can just enjoy this beautiful sunshine. Now, as we work our way forward, we come through a very spacious walkway. This, this boat has a 14-foot beam, so it really gives you room to move around. There's a pull-out cooler here, storage, lots of cup holders so you can hang out back here and enjoy the aft part of the boat, storage lockers beneath, and this area can also be customized to have a countertop or refrigerator, ice maker. There's a lot of options here. And as we work our way forward to the helm, you see all these rows of seating. It's not like a school bus, but it's more like a luxury limousine with seating for four people across in two rows. And then we're gonna move forward to the helm. And John, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to be here. Good Thanks so much for coming out and showing us this gorgeous boat. You know, the one thing that I keep you know, saying over and over again to myself is how elegant the boat is. For a race style performance center console to have all these sloping lines everywhere, you really outdid yourself in Thank the design. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now this boat was about two years in development. Um, and the COVID slowed us down a little bit. Our goal was 18 months um, to be in development and, and bring it to market, but it was two years and we debuted it up at Lake of the Ozarks in August at the shootout up there. And then we just finished the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show with it and it's had a very, very good reception. We're really happy with the new model. Now, anybody with performance is familiar, but for those who don't know that Lake of the Ozark has this famous annual shootout, which John, you've won how many times over its 35, 37 year history? Uh, this was the eighth year in a row we won with, with one of our Mystics. And since 2005, we won it every year except for one year. So, and that was at what speed? Uh, we did 207 this year in the three quarter mile. Uh, our fastest Mystic on the lake up there, we, it used to be a mile course. Uh, we had one go through a turbine power in at 244 miles an hour. So John, you obviously know speed. This boat with four Mercury 600s. Tell us how this boat performs, its weight, and how you chose this power for the boat. You know, when, when I first started designing the boat, I really didn't know about the 600s. You know, we have a fantastic relation with Mercury Racing. We don't buy a lot of regular Mercury engines, so uh, we we're a little bit blindsided by it, but we caught up ground fast. And, um, you know, this is our, our demo boat. It's our prototype. We put the 600s on, and it's unbelievable. I mean, the boat just jumps on plane with the two-speed transmission. It stays on plane. It's seven, 16, 17 miles an hour. You know, it'll run in the upper 70s comfortably. You know, my wife Robin and I, we actually drove the boat down here from Daytona to the Fort Lauderdale show to put it in there. And we cruised pretty much 50 miles an hour the whole way with the two of us on board and got great mileage. So very, very comfortable boat. And, you know, throw the throttles down with 2,400 horsepower on it and it really jumps up and runs up into the 70s very quickly. Well, we felt that just coming out here into the bay, but it was so smooth that, you know, you, you really don't feel the speed the yeah. same way until you look at the tachometer or the speedometer and you say, oh my God, look at how we're how fast we're going. Yeah, the engines are so quiet and smooth. I've actually gotten to the habit now, if I have the generator running because I cannot hear the engines running over the generator exhaust, before I leave the boat, I have to put my hand on the engine to see if they're actually running or not. That's amazing. And to have the Seakeeper 6 mm -hmm. on this boat keeps it very stable even while we're sitting here. The other impressive thing about this boat is how many people you can fit on this boat. 
Our we've, cameraman was laughing about if you could bring the whole football team <laughs> out on this boat. Yeah, we've actually been out with the, the, the lake. We did a lot of demo rides when we were up there debuting the boat. And we were out with 22 people on board. Uh, everybody was actually seated comfortably. You know, it was Lake of the Ozarks is known to be a relatively bumpy lake, and we were cruising 55, 60 miles an hour down the main channel on, on the Friday of the shootout, and everybody was perfectly comfortable in it. So, and like you said, we have a number of different arrangements. You know, this being our demo boat, we want to be able to take a lot of people for rides, show how it performs and, and what the boat does, you know, how good it is in rough water, things like that. But we have about five different arrangements that you can pick from. Um, like you said, like it was with summer kitchens on, with refrigerators, bar tops, all kinds of things like that. Really, kind of tapered and catered to how you're going to use the boat. So, if even as you can rearrange the seating arrangements here at the helm, you mentioned like we have three seats here, but you can do it with two, so you have walk around space on either yeah, side. Exactly. Um, let's talk about this helm a little bit because it's really beautifully designed. Um, you know, the carbon fiber, you know, makes it very high-tech looking along with the steering wheel. But you've got the bow thruster that you said that inter it works cooperatively with the joystick. Yep. The two 24-inch screens, the inductive phone charger, and you've got the rear uh, camera here, which has got to be really great for yep. water sports and just and safety. Mm -hmm. Storage. Ample JL audio uh, speakers and then the fusion sound system. So um, you've really kind of thought of everything the storage, extra mesh storage here, uh, the footrests. Even somebody my size can get up on the bolster seat and have great visibility, yep. air conditioning. Mm -hmm. So you've really planned this well. What other things would you change or uh, do in other customization? The nice thing with Mystic is, you know, the owners and, you know, Greg and Ryan and I, you know, we boat a lot. So we use the boats, we see what we like and don't like. And, you know, the wraparound windshield, it's been absolutely fantastic because you get such good protection in this area. We've got, you know, automatic wind doors that you hit a button and the wind doors power out on the side to get you know, the, um, the, the wind tunnel that comes down both sides, it makes it a lot more comfortable for all the passengers in the back of the boat. So, you know, we're learning little things as we use it. Um, we ran at Lake of the Ozarks, we ran all the way down here. We're actually leaving it in Miami for about a week and then we're going to do the Key West poker run all the way to Key West. And then uh, from Key West, we'll run it all the way back up to Daytona again and kind of, you know, see what we like and don't like. We're gonna actually stay on it on the way back up. Um, we haven't spent a night on the boat yet. So get all the features, you know, not only how fast it goes, how it drives, everything like that but what's comfortable in the cabin what do we like in the cabin what do we want to change to make the boats better and better as we go forward i want to talk more about the cabin but i also wanted to mention you talked about this wraparound windshield and even though it's all open on the sides you still feel very wrapped and you don't feel blown apart here is that in part because of the way that you've done the lines from you know from very narrow to widening out to the back yeah you know we, we one of the big wraparound windshields, so in this area you're very protected, and then the, the hardtop tortured me for a while. You know, we wanted to have the next generation Mystic, have a different look to it, um, but retain what everybody sees in the other Mystics. You know, the wraparound arch that's going, you know, when it goes vertical, it wraps backwards. So, you know, people will look at this and know it's a Mystic, um, they just see it's like the next generation Mystic, and a lot of this will trickle down into you know the models we already have in the market right now going forward. Let's talk about the cabin now because you mentioned that that you were going to stay on board. Though most people will really use this as a day boat. Mm -hmm. It seems like you put a lot of attention into designing the cabin to again be comfortable but that head is gorgeous. I mean the shower it's very spacious, uh, the design elements are very pretty mm -hmm. so is a, a a nice day head on a mm -hmm. boat like this, especially if you have this many people, yeah. is important. Yeah, you know, we wanted to really focus on a, a nice big day day head, a closed head, but with a separate shower, so it's not a wet head. Um, it does have a separated you know, partition between the two of them. We have the up-down electric table in the bunk in the front. So, um, you know, this morning I got down to the boat and I was doing all my email returns and everything sitting at the bunk, but I can hit a button. It'll go down to the floor, put the cushions in place, and then you've got a bed there. Um, we actually have an aft cabin on the boat. You know, if a family wants to go cruise somewhere, you know, they can put you know, their, ch their children in the aft cabin. And, you know, we wanted to design this for a little bit more extended cruising. You'll know, be able to spend a weekend on it. So if you want to go over to the Bahamas and not necessarily stay in a hotel in the Bahamas, you can go check in and you can spend two or three days in the island chain over there, going from point to point, 
with the generator, the air conditioning and everything in there. Um, this boat actually has a water maker on it so we can extend our cruising a little nice. bit um, with that. So really you're only limited by fuel range. So like Rob and John's wife, the bow seat is always my favorite part of the boat. So I just had to come up here and explore a little bit because this is laid out so thoughtfully that there are inductive phone chargers under the armrests, cup holders everywhere, steps here to get off onto the dock. And again, the, you know, the smooth uh, cleats make it look really nice. These, there's storage underneath the seats and as well under the floor here. You have two tables to enjoy for people up here to be sitting in if they want to be snacking or you know having beverages. Again, many cup holders. You've got USB ports for phone charging underneath. And they put a screen in the bow of this boat so the passengers can participate in the performance as well. And when you're getting upwards of 70 mile an hour, that gets everybody all excited here. Now there is a windless anchor. I'm not sure how many sandbars have room for this boat, but you could drop your anchor and hang out at the sandbar as well. So here on the bow of the Mystic 5200, we really get a feel of what luxury performance is all about. And that's what John Kostker builds into every Mystic. Thanks for joining us here on Yacht World. We'll see you again soon.